south we get, the harder it's going to be to get out of bed in the morning. Because <laughs> yep. it's been tough. <laughs> it's been tough. We may sound like we are whinging so much, but... We're not used to it. We're not we, used to it. Except for South Australia and Uluru, that's the last time I felt cold, yeah, really. Yeah, we pretty much avoided winter weather for two years. Mm. We have not been in winter weather. <laughs> so spoiled, hey? It's been a huge <laughs> shock to the body. Um, very spoiled, very thankful for it, but... I think we've come down a bit too early. Maybe. <laughs> so we've made our way from Mackay to Blackdown Tableland National Park. Yep. Got here last night, so today we're out for a little explore. Yep, we're there's, going to a spot. Yeah, there's I, one spot that looks really good. It, it looks spectacular on the photos, so hopefully it lives up to its, re to its reputation. One thing that surprised me about this national park is these roads though. I thought it was a lot more of a touristy sort of uh, bitumen road kind of attraction. Uh, I'm driving at five kilometers an hour pretty much because uh, if we were driving fast it would be a racket in here so we sound yeah. really spoiled yeah, today we don't we, we so cold <laughs> the roads are rough we haven't had brekkie and our decaf <laughs> coffee um but yeah the roads the roads are bad here we're almost at the spot i hope we're almost there i think we're there because uh yeah the roads ain't getting any better All right, we've arrived at our destination and I've smelt a funny smell on the troopy and I've gone under the car and found a bloody diesel leak. I don't know if I can show you, but there's all diesel here along the diff and it's coming from the injector pump, which sits up here somewhere. So I can smell that. So it's probably not a good thing. Yeah, it's diesel. So I'm gonna have to get that looked at. If anyone has a 1HZ, and knows anything about the diesel pump leaking down in that section, please let me know because I'd love to know the cheapest way to fix it. <laughs> All right, are you changed, Megan? Are you changed? She's getting changed. <laughs> All right, so we've come to, what's this place called again? Gudagumo. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, but they've actually got the other name for it here. Rainbow Waters, we've come to Rainbow Waters. We got a one point, no, we got a two kilometer walk. All right, she's changed. You ready? I'm not changed. <laughs> she's been changed. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready, Megan? Ready. 240 steps. Now that'll warm me up. I couldn't bring myself to take off my ugly. <laughs> She's got her ugly on. It's a pretty decent hike. Oh man, this is a, it's a big one down. We're almost there. All right, so we've come down about 100 steps so far. We've got palm trees everywhere. Probably not palm trees, but don't know what they are. Palm trees? You know Type of palm. Type of palm. <laughs> but look at this landscape. Oh, there's water coming out of the ground there. Look at the ferns up there. Completely changed, eh? That is incredible. Look at that. Oh, we've made it. And wow. oh my gosh, totally worth the 240 steps down. <laughs> and the cold weather. Holy moly, look at the water. I wish it was warm enough for a swim. <sighs> that is actually the clearest water I've seen at a waterfall. Yeah, me too, hey. It's clear as. So there's a few secret spots here, but I don't know where they are, but we're going to find them. All right, we've just made it to the top of the steps. We are so unfit. Yeah, we're at the top. But we have been so lazy with exercise. We we're on a good roll at some point, but we just let it go. We let it go again, eh? So this is pretty good for us. Anyway, we're on our way to the rock holes. 
I'm pretty sure I found them on the drone. So fingers crossed this is them. All right, we are, uh, <laughs> we've taken a wrong turn, I think. We're keeping our eyes peeled for snakes and whatever else is here, but we're a bit lost. We're definitely on top of the waterfall and on the right track. And I can hear more falls. Yeah, I can hear waterfalls. Oh, wait, here we go. What's this? What the? Look at that. That is very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go this way. We've got to climb up there, I can see. Mm -hmm. Just uh, maybe we'll go this way. We'll scale the wall and try not to fall in the water. Yeah, this way, Megan. I think. Look, it's a sheer, <laughs> sheer drop. That's cool, eh? All right, go I feel on this, like way. this is an after breakfast kind of adventure. Megan's hungry. <laughs> Hangry, must I say. Getting right. there. We found the rock coals. One, two, three. So worth venturing on. Where? Yeah, look, that's them. Oh, cute. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's not, uh, it, it was, it's not as spectacular as I thought it. It's an Insta Vestry. Yeah, it's an no, Insta Vestry. it's because it's cloudy. I think when the sun's out, this water looks more it's blue. blue. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it is, but it, they make it look good on Instagram, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna try and make it look good as well. I'm not dressed for Instagram. Megan's dressed in her daggy clothes. Look at that. Spectacular. On a nice day, that would be beautiful. That is the clearest water ever. You should drink some, eh? Yeah, do you want to fill the bottle up? I'm going to drink some. Tell you that. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I've never done this before. I know. I always dare you to do it, and you never do it. I'm going to drink it. Straight from... Earth, mate. That is honestly. It's delicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's actually really nice. You should try it. Cool, now we can go do some overnight that, hikes and things, eh? That is honestly so nice. Try it, Megan. No, I'm good, thanks. Alright, breakfast. <laughs> Too much salt, but <laughs> you're hungry, so it doesn't matter. All right. Oh, I forgot mine. <laughs> That's probably going to do us for Blackdown Table and National yeah. Park. There's a couple more walks you can do, but... That I, did it that, for us. Yeah, that's good for us today. I probably would have hung out there swimming all day if the weather was good. It yeah. would have been one of those sorts of spots. But yeah, we're heading out now, and I forgot to tell you guys how high up this place is. Gear one in the Troopy all the way to the top of to the National Park. So just it's to give you an idea. It's an amazing look out, yeah. though. But definitely come if you're in the area. But yeah, we're off, and we're going to see what else we can find. Let me tell you about our day. We've ended up driving the entire day. It is now five, five o'clock, eh? Is it? I think it's 5 p.m. Uh, yeah, it is. It's five o'clock, sun's going down in the background there. 
We ended up driving to a small town just out the National Park and we wanted to check out the coal mining museum that was there, Japanese garden, some Japanese garden, looked pretty cool. And we wanted to warm our bellies with a bakery cook up. Okay, yeah, a bakery. I feel like every time you go into like an outback ish town, you got to visit a bakery. Yeah. So and that was the car on the cards, and everything <laughs> was close, all three things we had planned. And then we've ended up driving two hours west back to Rockhampton, and we've I think just. two hours over exaggeration. I don't know how far maybe is it? An hour and a half. But hour and a half. We also did spend maybe about an hour trying to like find something else to yeah. do for the day as well, so the whole day has just gone away from us. It's, but uh, we thought we'd completely. Failed the vlog, we but thought the vlog was done. At least <laughs> I think this campsite has redeemed us because it is beautiful. Yeah, we have it all to ourselves now. There was a guy over there when we rocked up. We were coming in hot down this track here, and there's a guy up there doing a crap. <laughs> there's a guy going to the toilet, and it was the funniest funny. thing ever. He came down running like he, <laughs> like he'd crapped himself. Oh, it was so funny, but we got it all to ourselves. It's like one of those campsites. It, we We've just stumbled across it and yeah. it's spectacular. That's always my favourite kind. Oh, it's the best. No expectations and it's just beautiful. What else have we forgotten to get, Megan? Oh, yeah, we're out of gas. So we're completely out of LPG on the gas. Fire for the next couple of days. Campsite even came with a fire pit. All right, we're going to collect some sticks, enjoy what's left of the sun. Unfortunately, it's not much, but have a look at it. Dinner is getting prepared. We're just going to have some carrots. Actually, we're just going to chuck it in now. Chuck some carrots in. Got an onion. What else we got? Got potato. You can do the honors, Megan. Oh, no. I How's the fire going? It's almost ready. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're doing. I'm thinking we chuck the chicken straight on top. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know I how. I feel like this is the sort of thing you can't get wrong, surely. No, we What's can't. It's sure. some delicious. We'll get it wrong, though. <laughs> So we're putting some herbs, some garlic. This stuff here is a game changer. Hey, Megan. It's so good. Garlic and onion oil. I wish we had room to try all of them because they've got like chili, they've got lemon, they've got rosemary. That would have been nice with this one, yeah. actually, a rosemary oil. Would have been Yum. Fun. And then we've got just these two chicken marylands here. I oh, can just chuck them straight on. Yeah. You reckon? I'm going to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, mate. I'll touch it for okay, you. Thank you. And that's going to go on the fire for God knows how long because we never know. But today, like we said before, we were on a bit of a downer because we didn't, we didn't, never down. Yeah, well, it was good. It's a good day, obviously. Every day is a good day, but we, uh, we didn't know what to do. And it's then because we're adjusting to the daily vlogs, I yes, think. We're and still adjusting we to daily vlogs. Yeah. on the, I don't know, sort of on the fence about doing them because I feel yep. like compared to other YouTube people. Lots of people start off their channels doing daily vlogs yeah. and then they go to more produced episodes. Yeah. And I feel like we're doing the opposite, which might be a mistake. But we're gonna and find because out. we haven't got any feedback from you guys yet because we're trying to stay a bit in the <laughs> But um, you're probably wondering as well why we didn't actually daily vlog between where we had where last episode and today we figured we should get actually caught up on our computer work because yeah. as you would have noticed last episode we spent half of it doing computer work yeah so now too exciting for you guys but i feel like yeah. everything is caught up now yeah so now when we're filming this video right now we're going straight onto the timeline editing it straight away so we think we've got it down packed Hopefully. we hope we've got it down packed we just need to sort of i don't know even out reality and boring yeah because we don't want to be there's going to be days where we drive all day which we probably won't vlog because that's boring so yeah. it's so just, it's hard yeah, yeah. we just got to get but, into the groove we're doing it, we're loving it. And uh, what, what I was getting at before we just went off on a rant there was at the end of the day, we stayed positive and we found this spot here and it's just made the day so much better. It was so worth it. We were actually thinking of turning around and just going back to Rockhampton and staying at the caravan park. But we turned around, we came here and it was totally worth it. All right, we've arrived. Oh, Megan's getting changed, sorry. No, left. 
Oh no, yeah, right, no, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we are incredibly lost. <laughs>